I'm going to mute everyone first. Okay. So, as I was just saying, I'm going to be doing some fold up drawings. So I'll do, I'll do a rough one here, just a really quick one, just to show you. So I fold up a piece of paper and I'll show you how to fold that again in a minute. But basically what we're going to do is, I'll, and I'll do this with a marker just for this demonstration. So um, let's see, it's gonna draw, say, a head or a face like this. And I wanna draw, line down the middle, I could draw the nose like this and the mouth like that. So just very simple. Don't, you don't have to draw this one. This is just an example. So we've got a picture like that. When the, when the page is folded up, we have a picture. And then we're going to extend it out. And um, you could uh, draw it up, just meet it up like this if you wanted. Make it nice and simple. Um, and you could make the nose repeat. You could make the mouth go wibbly. You could draw in a couple of different eyes. Oh, my pen's running out. Like that. So it's like a surprise drawing. It's like, oh, look, there's a person with a normal face. And there's like, um, So you could do it different ways. Like this way, it could have been a face and the mouth is here. And then when you open it, there's a big mouth. So we might do one of those, but that's basically what we're gonna be doing today, different versions of that. So again, I'll show you how to fold it and then we'll do our first one. Um, so basically what you could do to make it easier is fold it over past the edge. So see how the edge is there. So you wanna keep it straight though. Fold it over past the edge. You can see the edge underneath there, so that's the edge. And then this top bit that folded over, fold it back. Depends on how much you want hidden. So then I've only got a, a little bit hidden here. So if you want a lot hidden, you want to have a lot more folded underneath. So I might just fold down a little bit on that side and then bring that over and have a little bit on this side. So see how that's going to be the drawing there. And then there's a lot hidden underneath. So it depends on how big you want to draw them. So there's two different ways of folding. And you can change the way that that, um, I'll just show you the, the cross section there. You can change the amount that's hidden. So the amount that's hidden is this bit and this bit. And we're gonna look at this bit and this bit. On um, this one, the amount that's hidden is this bit up to here. And the amount that's visible is these two bits here and here. Evelyn, you got a question? I'm gonna unmute and ask you a question. Um, I don't have any paper. Um, are you using a book? Yeah. Could you rip a page out of the book? Is it a spiral book or is it a notepad? No, it's a book that we that I use when we do everything else. Okay. Um, can you hold up the book so I can have a look? What kind of book it is? Uh, okay. Do those pages rip out easily? Has it got, a, has it got staples in the middle? Oh, I was trying to think how okay, we can really see. Um, we'll see if you can get, maybe if your parents have a printer, they might have some printer paper you could borrow. Um, okay, so I'm gonna move my camera back down a bit. 
and I'm going to remove this cutting mat so that we can start doing some drawings. So I'll, I'll do this one around this way. So it's going to open up like that. So it's going to open to the top. So make sure everyone has their page around like that. Eva, are you going to be okay with that pad that I just saw? Are you taking the pages out of that pad? You can still fold it, I guess, with it, with it um, in the pad. I guess Evelyn could do that as well. Uh, Gabrielle, that is right, Gabriella. Just wait for Evelyn to come back. I just saw her. And she's gone again. Okay, so for this one, we will draw um, the top of a face on, on this top bit and the bottom of a face. So then when we open it up, it'll have a wide mouth. How'd you go, Evelyn? Did you get some? Yeah, great. Okay. So do you think you can fold one up without help? So the first thing we're going to do, we'll just draw a big circle or an oval for the face. And so the splits in the middle. I'm just going to put you back on mute, Evelyn. Okay. And once you've done that, everyone show me. Hold it up and let's see what you've done. Ah, I mean, there's so much drawing on that paper already. <laughs> it's good. Yep. Looks good, everyone. Everyone that held those up. Yeah. Oh, whole another page. You didn't see Ariel there. Yes. And Kaylee. Good. Oh, no, Kaylee's on the front page. And Ariel's on the front page. That's weird. I didn't see you on the front page until I turned to the next page. <clears throat> okay. So let's open that up. So at the top of the page, you should just have half of the head, and at the bottom of the page, the other half of the head. And then what we're going to do is, like I did with this one, we're going to join them up. But we won't do the face on the inside, we're just going to do the sides. So I'm just going to join this up there see how it joins up and then on the bottom so that joins up to that side so now when we close it oh everyone i forgot to put your hand down as well just lift up again so we can see so that camera will stay up so now when we open this up we have a really big head shape. So what we should do is on this top section, you want to draw a nose. It could be whatever you want. You don't have to draw a person. It could be an animal. I'm just going to draw just a, a generic person. So maybe two eyes and a little nose. Maybe they're looking down. Draw some ears on the top there. You could put in a bit of a smile so it goes on the top and the bottom line. See, I've got those bits on the top and just a line on the bottom. So if you put a line right on the edge, uh, I just missed that chat thing. Sorry, I didn't have the chat open. Uh, you can draw anything, yeah, because we're gonna do something with a big open mouth. So it could be you could draw a lion or something like that, or just a monster. But I'm gonna draw some teeth in there, so it looks like a guy's smiling. Araf, 
This is your first question. I'm going to keep count. <laughs> What's your question? Uh, can we add hair? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Okay, thank you. So once you've got the face and everything going on, add some hair like Raf mentioned. <clears throat> you can add eyebrows and things like that. We're going to, that's cool, Marcus. I like that. We're going to open it up and I'll zoom out again. Um, yeah, Aaron, you could do an Among Us one because then as it opens up, it could have the that big um, toothy monster mouth. So now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to draw up here anymore on, on, on this bit. Sorry, on this bit. I'm going to start the mouth down here and I'll join it up. You can make it wider and then come in. And you can maybe even make those teeth sharp. I made the teeth sharp on the bottom so that when it's closed, you don't see the sharp teeth. They look like normal teeth, but then when it's open, it's got sharp teeth. And I can do the same on the top. Lots of sharp teeth on the top. Pull this up. I want to be able to see the whole thing, but I can't get my camera wide enough. So then it looks like a normal person, just smiling. Hold it down properly. And then when he opens his mouth, he's like, Rah! and you can draw more teeth. You can draw a tongue in there. You can draw his throat, all kinds of things. Put it on the side like this so you can see it a bit better. You could draw people inside like he's eating people. Um, so yeah, I might draw a tongue. Like that with dripping saliva on it. Um, you could draw the his throat with his little uvula hanging down. You could draw ridges in the mouth or you could do more layers of teeth. This would be cool to color. So let's see what you guys did. Oh, Marcus, that's cool. It's Kaylee's one. <laughs> All right. Wow. Ariel, that's cool. Close it up again and then open it. Ariel, you fold yours up and then unfold it. So show it to me closed and then go rah, in front of the camera. Wow. That's cool. Ah, that's pretty cool too. All right. So. You could, um, there's lots of different things you could do with that. You could draw, um, on this one, I might do a couple of things just to show you. You could draw a, a present. So there's like a box. A small one. Um, and you can like put ribbon around the box with a big bow on top. And then when it opens up, I won't open it all the way up. I'll just open it. Oh, this is a small one. Let's go. Can you see that one? <clears throat> so I've got half a box at the top, half a box at the bottom. I can make it jagged like it's been ripped. Make the ribbon broken. 
and then you could you know you could draw a puppy or something in there or just write happy birthday so it could be a birthday card happy birthday dad and lots of explosiony kind of things so so you can give your dad a card a piece of paper or you could do it on cardboard that's just a present and it could just say have a little tag on here that says dad or mom or whoever and then when he opens the card it goes happy birthday dad that's one idea i'm going to show you a couple and then i want you to come up with an idea Oh, Aaron, I just reread your message. I thought you were asking if you could make this an Among Us, but you want to draw Among Us after this. You could draw this as an Among Us guy. Um, not quite sure exactly how that goes. I think it's just simple like this. There's a little backpacky thing. There's an Among Us. And then when you open it up, it could be um, it could be the dead guy, you know, with the the bone where they get cut in half. Um, or it could be a big open monster mouth or something like that. So there's the wrong guy. He's together and then he's cut in half. Um, <clears throat> could do one this way. Um, Ahom, you got a question there before I do this next one? <clears throat> do you want to look at my one? My one is actually a person box. Okay, show me. A person box. So it's a regular box and now it's a person box. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so the person's in the box? Jumping yeah. out? That's cool. You can even draw one that's like a cake and when it opens up, there's you know someone bursts out of the cake um but i'm going to show you one that goes this way you could draw uh say uh the i was gonna say horse or a dinosaur let's do a horse so i draw the back legs of a horse here and then on this side i'll do the head the mane just a simple one a leg like that, don't do the two legs. And then when you open it up, you got you can make it a very long horse, like a like a sausage dog, or maybe there's a couple of horses. Maybe this is a um, a unicorn. And then this is just a a horse that has, um, or maybe this one has a zebra bottom or something. It's got stripes on it. So I go from having one horse to having a half horse, half zebra, and a unicorn. Or you could have lots of horses. Could go from having one horse to these are horses, very rough drawn. So one horse to a whole herd of horses. So there's lots of different ways you can um, do this kind of thing. And you can even do some gross ones too. Lucas, have you got a question? I drew a lion and then when you open it up, he's, he's roaring. Yeah, close it up again. Yep, and open. Rawr. Yeah, that's great. It's awesome. And I even drew the sun. And what's that one? Oh, the sun, yes. Very good. So, um, yeah, the way that um, Lucas just did one as well is you can draw the head side on instead of front on. And I'm just holding up another Also, thing. I don't have any more paper. Oh, no. You have to draw some small ones or find some more. I don't have a printer. But what about a book? Have you got a book with paper in? You could find some paper there. 
or reuse some paper from before. Find some paper and draw something on the back. Um, so yeah, you could draw as Lucas just did. Um, you could draw two people. looking at each other like that. And then as you open it up, they could be, one could be, um, have lots of teeth and the big whippy tongue. Um, and one could just be very tall with, a, with an ooh mouth. I think two all kinds of weird things. Cool it out. So I want to see what you guys can come up with. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so you could do presents, you could do monsters, you could do just um, remember last week we did the Half half animals. You could do that. Let me just fold this the other way. You could draw. Oh, let's see. Uh, Victoria, it was a little cake. Yeah. And then you open it up. And it's another cake, <laughs> the even bigger cake. Wow, that's great. Um, what was I going to say? You could draw like a rabbit. Let's draw a really quick one here. Little bunny rabbit, with his bottom over here and his back leg, like that. Yeah, little rabbit. But then when you open it up, it, this rabbit could be. Um, I think we did a rabbit cross with something. I can't remember what it was. Maybe this one is um, has like a a rooster and rooster tail and chicken legs. Maybe this one is a frog. It could look like one animal, just a rabbit, but then we have a frog rabbit and a rabbit chicken. So we do crossovers like that too. Um, another one I've done before, <clears throat> was, this is a bit gross, this one. Let me just do a small pull up. I don't want, I'm going to do two on this page. I'm um, sorry, Araf, have you got a question? Is this question number two? Um, I, don't, I forgot mine. You forgot your question? Well, it counts. Ariel, have you got a question? Um. Last week we did a rabbit and a bear. Oh, I thought it was a bear. Cool. Thank you for reminding me. Um, who did I just see? Was it Ella? Were you holding yours up? Yours is a, a bird. And then when you open it up, whoa, it's a really tall bird. That's cool. And Hatesh, you've got some kind of monster -y thing there. You open it up. What is going on in there? Oh my God, there's so much. So much detail and stuff. Wow, it's like a, a, a dimensional portal or something. <laughs> Lucas, you have a question? Marcus has a boat? I thought we did a rabbit and a gorilla. Hmm, I can't remember. I probably got it right here on my desk if I look for it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm gonna show you another couple of ones. Uh, let's see. Um, one I've done before was somebody with their nose like this. And their hand coming up as if they're picking their nose. And then when you pull it out, I have a big big goobly booger that's dripping and 
<laughs> they have a big booger that they picked out of their nose. So, pick, 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 pick. Big booger. I think actually in the other one I've done before, I drew their skeleton as if they picked their skeleton out of their nose. Um, or you could even do one where you have, what did I do? It was someone grabbing onto their ears. Like that. And then, hang on, Razor, I'll get to your question in a minute. So holding onto their ears and then when they go like this, they actually rip their, their face in half and then in the middle you see their skeleton. Like that. So person pulling their ears. Actually, I was like, oh, person pulling on their ears and then they go and they rip their body apart and their skeletons underneath. So you can try different things like that. Uh, Razan, you got a question? Can I show you my Among Us drawing? Yeah, please. <clears throat> so first it's like a normal crewmate. I can't I can't see anything on that page. It's so light. What is it when what is it when it's closed? Do it again, do it again. Okay. I think because all the lights behind you, not on the screen. So it's hard to see. Mm, no, I can't see it. Sorry, it just looks like a blank piece of paper. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Ariel's got a love heart there and then opens up and it, what is, it looks like a bird. <laughs> it looks like a pelican <laughs> with its head down. Rich. Oh, uh, anyone, else, anyone else come up with some ideas while we're waiting oh. for a red one? Um, you could even draw, I just thought of another one, just a little dog, a normal little dog. Give his tongue out. Like that. Like that. A little dog. And then when you open it up, it could just be a sausage dog. So really long body. So it looks like a normal puppy. Puppy body. Um, someone else had their hand up there. Who was that? Let's put it down. I'm just going to, Razon, I'm just going to mute you and put your hand down. When, you've, when you're ready, just put your hand back up, okay? <clears throat> uh, let's see, what else? Well, you could even draw. Here's another idea. Let me find another piece of paper. I'll use the back of them. So this is one I did before with the horse and the invade. I'm just going to flip it over, hold it the other way. Oops. So I could draw a little pot with one little flower sticking up, maybe a little leaf like that, and then when it's open, it could be um, a massive bush. Oh, I'm just doing it really rough, even like a with, a with an eye in it and some teeth, make it like a monster bush and some tentacle kind of vines with spikes on them. So we have a little flower. We go, oh, it's a cute little flower in a, in a pot. And then when it opens up, big monster 
with a little flower on his head. Um, Razan, okay, are you ready? You're not on mute? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, there we go. I can see now it's an invader guy, oh, Among Us guy. Yeah. And then, is that the one with mouth open with the big tongue? Yes. Yeah, that's cool. It's good. I like that. Worth the wait. Good job. Okay. Um, so let's see. Has anyone else come up with anything else to do? Yeah, Lucas, do you wanna do you want to um, raise your hand? And I've, you're already unmuted. <laughs> Are you ready to show something, Lucas, or not? Uh, I was just starting to draw something. Okay. Well, when you finish, then put your hand up. Okay. Um, Arath, what have you got? Um, maybe you can draw like a um law like a cat um like stretching and eating food yeah you could draw I'm trying to think how you could make that work with that um you could draw a cat like like um like a long body of a cat and then you can like put the head on and then you can draw a food bowl and then um, put the tail at the very end and put the legs at the very end. Yeah, and then when you open it, there's a long body on the cat. Yeah. Um, I was just thinking you could do one with, um, let's see. Oh, with a... Bow. A, a carrot that goes over the, the page. And... Maybe a little bunny pulling the carrot, going what? This one is very similar. It's a little bunny pulling the carrot, but then when you open it up, no, oh, I've got that massive one. I'll draw it here in a different color. It's actually a massive carrot like that. Can you see that? Yeah, it's sort of over the top of my monster plant. A little bunny pulling a little carrot, but when you <laughs> pulls it out, massive carrot. Um, Araf, you're still got your hand up. Sorry, I didn't meet you after that. Okay. Um, Arham, what have you got? Do you want? Uh, do you want me to show you the um guy that is picking his nose? Yes. Okay. So you can see a lot of blood coming out. Because you know, and then yeah. you just blood and boogers everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> more blood. <coughs> That's terrible. Well done. And his and his mouth was just crossed by just like. That's great. His... <laughs> okay, Ariel, what have you got? Um. So... Then there's a little balloon, and then when you open up, there's a giant. Wow, that's cool. It's a scary one, too. <laughs> that's a good job. I like that one. All right. I am. Ooh. Okay. I'm doing it on the back of my big face, but I'm using some more people, more paper. <clears throat> so. We've done some that way. We've done some that way. That's really the only two ways you can do it. <laughs> but um, so many different things. Uh, what was the one I was just thinking of? When Raf was telling me, oh yeah, like you could do um, sort of along the same lines as the nose picking one. You could draw um, like someone, like the little boy. I don't know if you heard the story that he put his finger in the dam in Holland. Stop it from leaking. So this could be um, just for, for a wall like that. Um, and you could do a few little drips. So then when it opens up, I need to find out where that is. Okay, open it up. You could do 
all the water shooting out from that dam. So it's like he's, he's blocking it up with his finger. A little bit closer, so you can he's blocking the hole and then now he's just pointing at the hole. That's shooting out all the water. Or it could be a pipe or something like that. Ariel, you've got another question or you want to show me something? Oh, you still still haven't taken you down from before. Have you got something else? Yes. Yeah, okay, show me. Um what what about we could do a balloon and then it pops? Mm-hmm. You could, yeah. It's even the same way um you did it. You could just draw a little a little balloon. And then so on this one you have pop bit. So you've gone and on the top, you want to pop it as well. But in between, you could draw like maybe there was something in there, like I don't know, baby birds, um, a kitten. Um, some candy, candy cane. It could just be like a little birthday celebration kind of thing. You draw confetti and stuff inside it. So it, a little balloon, and then and you've got all these presents and things along there as well. So that's a good idea. Ella, what have you got there? You've got a, is it a present? It pops and there's a person jumping out. That's great. That'd be a really nice, um, birthday card for someone um you could make the uh the scary ones too as like halloween cards or something something scary so it's a little little flower well oh, my phone just went out a little flower and then it's a big monster to scare them or a skeleton or something like that um <clears throat> i forgot to charge my phone so, or you just yeah, little cutesy animals. You could do. Um, what if you did someone who got bumped on the head and they've got like a little, a little lump on their head? Show that to me, shot. And they're like, oh no. And then as you open it up, the lump is just. It's really big, like that. Big, big throbbing lump. Oh, that could even be a Pinocchio. You could draw someone this way. Draw another one here. Could be a little Pinocchio, like that. And then as you open it up, he has a very long nose. Because he's been telling fibs. <coughs> You could draw a little fish that actually is a big fish. Um, let me try that on this one. So I'm going to draw a little fish like this. And then open it up. This could still be a little fish. But then he's being followed by a big scary fish like that so we've got just a little fish swimming along and what he's not looking at right behind him is a big fish so that one is almost the same as that one and Raph, question time let's see oh, there on there. Because I'm keeping track of all your questions. That's number four. <laughs> That's your fourth question today. <laughs> I told you I'll keep track. Um, who haven't we heard from? What about uh, Jaden? Have you got anything to show? Miles, just turn his camera on. Have you got something to show? Let's see. Oh, is that a, a rocket? Oh, it's still on so the big mouth. Oh, big mouth, yeah. That's great. Cool. 
Marcus, I like your plant too. Um, Aaron or Jaden, have you got something to share? Oh, Jaden, yeah. Oh, you might have to turn your background off. Can't see. And it's still blurry, Jaden. Can't see the picture. <laughs> Lucas, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, uh, Kobe, what have you got there? You want to show yours? Wow. <laughs> it's like that, that creature's crawling out of his mouth. That's, that's scary. <laughs> Good job. Okay, uh, we've got about 15 minutes left. So has anyone come up with a really cool idea? Or should we just draw something normally now, in our last few minutes? Hands up if you want to draw something normally after I ask this question from Marcus. Marcus, quick question. No, okay. Okay, hands up if you want to draw something normally or you want to do another, oh, sorry, let's do this. One finger up if you want to draw another one of these or two fingers if you want to draw something that we normally draw something. No more, no more. Another one, another one. Okay, it's going to be no more of these. <laughs> so we've got the votes in. All right, so let's do a normal drawing. Maybe you can turn it into one of those extended drawings later on. I don't know what to call them extended drawings because you extend them or surprise drawings. <clears throat> okay, so. What to draw, what to draw. I think we did have a list a while ago. Look how short my pencil is. Um, let's see. Let's draw a person. I'll just to put a new pencil in here. It's very small too. Let's be bigger. Um, okay, let's draw a person. We'll draw a head, a round head. It's a nice place to start. And then it's just someone like bending over, smelling flowers. So we don't have their body coming out this way and their legs coming down. And then we'll do the flower sort of over here on the ground. So we'll find where we want the face to be. So that's the line between the eyes. Maybe the eyes are here. Um, Eva, you don't have to copy if you don't want to. And I'm gonna draw a big eye here, and a big eye here, and have them looking at the flower. It doesn't even have to be a flower, it could be a little, Creature could be a rock, could be whatever you want it to be. Give them a little smile. A little nose. And clean up their face a little bit. Give them an ear, some eyebrows. Maybe they um, are holding a magnifying glass to look at it closely. Cat on the tree with the highest branch. I don't think we're going to have time to draw that, but that would be cool. 
Karina. You don't even have your camera on. I don't know what you look like. So I'm just going to fill out the body on this person. And then come down the legs. And then I'll rub out those lines in between, those stick figure lines. <clears throat> You know, I've drawn that magnifying glass in the wrong spot. Lucas, you're wearing glasses over your glasses. <laughs> um, so I've drawn this as like a little, a boy character, but you can draw a girl character or an animal character. Could be, um, it could be a cat that Karina wanted to draw on the tree. Maybe this guy's looking for the cat. Instead of looking at a flower, maybe he's looking at some footprints, little cat prints. I'm going to draw the flower in. I'm going to stick with my original idea. So let's see how everyone went with that. When you're done, you don't have to hurry. We've got a few minutes left, we've got about eight minutes. <laughs> Arham, that's cool, I like his big hair. It looks really good. Kaylee, that's nice. I like the, um... oh, is it open up? What? <laughs> is he a ghost? <laughs> That's cool. Oh, sorry, uh, Adelaide, what do you got? Oh, that's cool. You wanna hold it a bit closer? Cause it's so small on the screen. Oh, nice, she's cute. Yeah, good job. Ariel, yours looks, is it like an old man? It's all dark and looks like he's got a big beard. Is, is he playing golf? It looks like, <laughs> I know it's a magazine class. It looks like he's got a golf club and he's about to hit a golf ball. Um, Ella, what am I looking at? Oh, I see at the top there. Cool. Yeah, Gabriella, that's good too. That looks like a character from um, Over the Garden Wall. Gabriella, if you've seen that cartoon. Um, Arath, here we go. For the person, you could maybe... Uh um say that um like he's looking at the flower while like pooping he's looking at the flower while he poops yeah <laughs> i could have done that but i chose not to <laughs> that was your fifth question fifth comment by the way <laughs> all right i think that's enough from you <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so we got about six minutes. So let's try. We'll draw the um the cat that Karina asked for. Um, she said, after this, can we draw a cat on a tree at the highest branch? So I'm just going to move my page over and draw it on the same page. Let's draw 
up the top of this area. Let's draw a little cat, little circle for a head, little sort of triangular body. I'll zoom in closer so you can see it. Oh, Give it some big eyes. Little nose and mouth. <laughs> Your mouth's how tiny that was on the page. Sorry, you're seeing my camera shadow. Some ears, some front paws and back paws. You can add a little tail. Whiskers. So there's the cat. And then we have to draw the tree part. Ah, uh, what do you show me? Oh, you tiny little cat. That's great. It's got a very big tail. Okay, so we've got our tiny little cat. Zoom back out. Big this is. Oops, I pens and pencils over here. I'm going to knock them off in a second. So now we could draw the tree sort of bent over a bit like that. I don't know why I'm thinking of it like a, a pine tree, like a Christmas tree. So it's pointy at the top. So I'm going to draw it in sections like this. And then we can draw a little um, a little what do you call it? Trunk. I was gonna say stem. Um, Araf, number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's up? Um, you could also say like um the cow climbed up the tree because there was um like a dog barking down. Yeah, you could draw a dog barking at the bottom of the tree. Yeah, so that's why she climbed. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I'm just making the tree look a bit shaggy now like a pine tree usually does um, I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing I'm just coming along and going back and forth and just some lines things like that just sort of using some hash marks to um Make it look shaggy, like pine needles. So yeah, if you want, you could draw a dog at the bottom. Actually, I'll rub out that line we drew for the tree as well. You could draw a dog barking at the bottom. You could draw a butterfly or a bird at the top. Wow, Ella, look at that tree. That's great. I like the knot hole in it, the swirly knot hole. It's really good. Ah, um, that's really nice tree. You need to draw the trunk. That's good. And we've got two minutes left. So you've got two minutes to finish and then we are out of time. Oh my goodness, Kaylee, was that all your drawings from today? That's a lot of paper. <laughs> good job. Look, I can, I can show you all my papers. Look. Look at this. These are papers from all the drawing classes we've done. They're all just sitting here. I haven't gone through them yet. These papers. There's so many papers here. I need to clean my desk. Do them all. Aram, that's cool. Well, yeah, I have to clean up this desk so I can. Oh. So many papers. 
All right. Arm, did you want to say something as well? Okay, there you go. Unmute. But do you know why the trees are very bendy? Why? Very bendy. Because the cat is very big. You see it's very small, but it's actually big. It's very it's, big it's cat cat. a lot, but it's getting small instead of bigger. Uh, well, what you could have also done too, I'll move my camera now. We could have done also too is have because the tree's bending over, it could be because the cat's hanging off off the tree like this. <laughs> I'm going to add some more weight so that it makes it yeah. more like. Or, or you could just make this cat very fat. It could have been sitting on like a very fat, like big body cat mm. holding on. Yeah. One, one. like that. Hang on. Oh, my phone just run out. My battery's running low. Could be a big fat cat like that. Holding the tree down. Okay. Sorry, Adelaide. We're out of time, everyone. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, we're out of time. Adelaide, that looks really cool though. Good job. All right. If you can send a photo to Brilliant Kids and then we're going to put onto our online gallery. Nice. For now, I'm going to unmute everyone to say goodbye to Mr. Evan. Bye, Mr. Evan. Bye. 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 Bye.